History lesson. 80 years ago, a company called Polaroid started right here in Cambridge, Mass., where its special polarization technology soon found its way into products across the country and across the globe. Everything from glare-free desk lamps to sunglasses. That work later led to military contracts, including pilot goggles, spy satellites, and even a special synthetic quinine for treating malaria. Well, it turns out that that chemical was useful in photography. And over the next 40 years, that's where Polaroid built its empire, with instant cameras that didn't need a dark room to develop their film. Flash forward to 2017, and this accessory doesn't use any of the technology I just talked about. And what's more, the brand on it has been bought and sold so many times, it's basically meaningless. But two things tie this Moto Mod to its roots. It still produces instant photos you can hold, and it uses technology that got its start inside Polaroid to do it. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the Polaroid InstaShare Printer Review. By now, you've probably seen a Moto Mod in action. It's an accessory that slaps onto the back of a Moto Z smartphone to charge it up, or give it a louder speaker, or give it a 360 camera. There's tons of them. The InstaShare printer works just like most. It's powered by its own internal battery, and it incorporates hidden magnets that stick it firmly to the phone's backplate. When the phone detects the mod for the first time, it prompts you to download the Polaroid app to control it. It tells you to load in the special zinc paper, we'll come back to that, and then you get a quick rundown of how the app works. After you take a snapshot, you can add custom frames, dopey stickers, and emoji, and play with the colors until it looks just the way you want it. Then you hit print, and about 15 seconds later, you've got a little mini picture that you can stick to stuff. Now, I'm mainly a digital photo guy, and that's probably true for most of you as well. Otherwise, the digital revolution that killed Polaroid never would have come about in the first place. But the resurgence of physical photos is a real thing. For the past few years, I've seen more and more instant cameras at parties. And it's novel, you know? Even if you didn't grow up with physical Polaroids, you can see how having an immediate paper copy of a picture is a lot of fun. Now, here's where it gets cool from a geeky perspective. This is a pretty incredible piece of technology. See the Zinc logo down here in the corner? That brand name comes from the fact that this printer uses zero ink. Instead, the magic happens inside the paper, which contains layers of amorphochromic dyes that start out colorless. When a specific level of heat is applied for a specific length of time, the crystals inside those dyes melt into either cyan, magenta, or yellow. While the printing process might seem kind of pokey at about 15 seconds, it becomes a lot more impressive when you realize that a single 2 by 3 inch print takes 200 million distinct pulses of heat, ranging from 100 to 200 degrees Celsius. The resulting print is dry to the touch and even water resistant, assuming you wipe it off quickly. And the mod's battery lasts for about two packs of print paper before you need to recharge it. As I mentioned before, this technology was actually developed within Polaroid in the 1990s. When the company's financial trouble started, it spun it off as a separate entity, and some of the same folks who developed it continue to work there today. It's oddly satisfying to see this technology, initially invented inside Polaroid, find itself back inside one of those products again. But. It's important not to expect the quality of the true Polaroid out of this product. The biggest downside I've experienced is reliability. Sometimes the app just doesn't think the mod is connected, even when it is, and it takes a few tries to get everything working again. That could be a real pain at a party. The photos it produces don't have a lot of vibrance or contrast either, so right out of the printer, they kind of look like they've been sitting in the sun for a few weeks. Also, because the whole printing process relies on thermal reactions, the mod won't work in temperature extremes, like the 24-degree day we just had here in Cambridge. Some might consider the paper a little pricey. After you blow through the 10-pack that comes in the box, you'll pay between 30 and 50 cents a sheet. And the mod itself is expensive, I think. If you miss the holiday sale for $149, you'll pay $200. I cross-shopped the mod against similar products from Polaroid Print and Fujifilm, and I found that prices varied a lot from 60 bucks all the way up to 200. Now, the advantage to those other printers 
is that they're universal. You can use them with any Android or iPhone because they connect wirelessly. So if you don't carry a Moto Z, well, your decision is made for you. Get one of those. If you do carry a Moto Z, though, this is one of those accessories that really validates Motorola's approach to modular phones. It brings a feature you won't use often, but when you do, it saves you from having to buy a whole new camera, a camera that could be worse than what's in the Moto Z series. You don't have to fight with Bluetooth or wait for wireless transfers. You just slap the mod on there, shoot, and print. Most of the time. And rather than confine you to new photos, like a standalone camera would, the mod lets you print any photo you've ever taken or downloaded. Whether that's worth 200 or even 150 bucks is dicey, especially given the reliability problems. Once again, I feel like Motorola has missed the mark in pricing here. Frankly, I don't think I'd buy it for myself. But this being the holiday season, I have to admit that if someone were to buy it for me, I'd end up spending more money on paper and sticking more photos on fridges than I have since college. If you don't have a Moto Z but think you might want one, today's sponsor has the perfect deal for you. That's a link to a Moto Z2 Play for 350 bucks, and it was dug up by Thrifter, a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Click the link in the description for that sweet deal on my preferred Moto Z, or just to see all the best deals dug up by the talented team at thrifter.com. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay mobile, my friends.